Hi, Richard McConnell here with Clear Minded Coaching. Thanks for joining me today. Clear Minded Coaching, we focus on clear minded choices for business, clear minded choices for entrepreneurs, and clear minded coaching for health. Today I'd like to honor and respect Stephen Covey. Stephen, as you probably have heard by now, passed away this week at the age of 79. This book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, was his number one bestseller, selling over 25 million copies, which is amazing. 25 million copies worldwide. So Stephen brought this term into the vernacular, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So let's just go over those seven habits and briefly discuss the principles of each habit just to keep it in mind and then my recommendation is to grab the book this week this weekend flip through it look at how it's relating to some of the issues that may be going on in your life right now in your business life or your personal life or your family life or if you're looking at starting a new business or doing a health checkup all of these principles apply so let's go over the seven habits this is directly from his table of contents Habit number one, be proactive. That's the principles of personal vision. Habit number two, begin with the end in mind. Principles of personal leadership. Habit number three, put first things first. Principles of personal management. Habit number four, think win, win. Think win, win. Principles of interpersonal leadership. We used to say, think win big and think win big, so we added the word big there. Habit number five, seek first to understand, then be understood. That's the principles of empathetic communication. Habit number six is synergize. That's the principles of creative cooperation, creative cooperation. And habit number seven, sharpen the saw, stay sharp. Principles of balance, self-renewal. So there you have it, Stephen Covey, you'll be missed. Thank you for your contribution to coaching, to business, to leadership, to companies. His legacy will continue through his books and through his writings. It's up to us to synergize that into our own lives and have it perform at levels that we like and we want to, to perform at. So thanks, Stephen. We'll miss you. God bless you. Talk to you next week.